Hi guys, good morning. Um, so this is my second time filming this video, and the first one I noticed that I was over expressive and I had to you know take it down and you know film this again when I was calm. I mean this happened to a friend of mine recently and she was she was the stop so I just had to put a video out. It is 4 a.m. in the morning and I think this is practically the only time I have to you know shoot my videos because now I am very very busy. I have where I go to all day and I just wanted to you know let you guys know that I did not quit YouTube. Yeah, I did not quit YouTube, it's just in the situation and I feel everything that has happened thus far has been directed by God, like I have no parts in what has been happening because things just come boom and things are just happening, okay, good things, I mean. So um what has been happening? <laughs> Hello, before I go straight up to my video, if you're new here, my name is Chinaza and you're welcome to this channel, please endeavor to, you know, click the like button and subscribe. So what has been happening? Um, what happened was that I traveled, I am in Abuja currently and beside more in the east. Um, that is why I started my YouTube journey from, from Anambra State, Hoka, but I'm in Abuja now and so I got married and you know my marriage came like boom everybody was surprised everybody was you know shocked like we don't even know you have a boyfriend like what happened like nothing no picture of boyfriend and all of that stuff and sorry i don't have a boyfriend i'm not you know we don't post boyfriends right right is that not a plan we don't post boyfriends we post husbands <laughs> i got married and i feel sometimes it's good to like shock people people don't have to know who you're messing with people don't have to know what you're doing at every second of your life you don't have to post everything do you get so that was practically the phase i was in that moment i wanted to be alone i think um the whole of this year in fact from last year i've been very 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 should i say secretive or quiet about my um big details of my life my last like, birthday was very very quiet and it was just you know very personal persons that were around to celebrate it with me and i didn't even post it guess what i didn't post my birthday i didn't do like counting down five percent loading one day to go and i didn't do all of those things i didn't even post it on my birthday it was like i think almost midnight out of my birthday so that was when i posted it i feel we're still surprised i feel I think that is the phase I am in now if and it is God led, it is I don't know because the things that I don't plan, things that okay I see but I don't even plan it. I just like okay God take control. This is what I want, this is my desire and I don't know how it's going to work, I don't know how it's going to happen, but this is what I want, okay? And somehow it just comes into play, it just you know keeps manifesting itself, it just keeps coming life all of my desire and i'm like who am i who am i so guys i got married yes and you know after i told some persons i told few very few persons that i was getting married I feel like i was even obligated to tell them okay but i just feel okay um this person might get offended if i don't tell them because maybe i've been seeing you as you know a big sis in i don't know i don't know if you guys understand but i'll say you like a big say someone that you know has once in a while been checking up so i feel i should okay let me just tell you so that you don't get you don't see it somewhere or like start having issues okay so um i told you and then I, I i told a couple of persons and then i was getting so person wanted to just get me pissed off kill the vibe like I don't know. Um, start giving me the those too young and start stressing about the fact that okay, you're too young. Um, and you've not achieved anything. What have you achieved? A husband is going to you know. Um, I'm making the difference. You know, your destiny, your purpose. Um, have you served? And all of those bullshit. Okay. So we went as far as telling me, uh, not to my. <laughs> So I don't even have the guts to say it to me in my face because if I put myself, you don't even have the guts to tell me some certain kind of things to my face, okay? But you say it around and I get to hear it, but 
it's fine since you don't have the guts to say to my face i don't think i need to answer to it okay so um sometimes saying things like i've not achieved i've not achieved anything yet and do i have enough cash to go into marriage and i know all of these things might be important it might be important to you know us but i feel we all have our own desires we all have our own way of doing things our own achievements varies i mean if you want to do your things a certain kind of way you don't have to put it down on me okay your way doesn't have to be the right way right so i was a little bit pissed off when i got to one or two persons telling me this and i was like what's your problem some people say saying okay um you need to wait till like your late 30s or in fact early 40s that that's the best time to settle down because by then you're made you're an established woman and you're a full-blown woman so now i'm humble it's all right so that um, then you've known your part you've known what you want to do in life and all and i'm like ah, ah, really so what i should tell me so the 30s that i am seeing and the 40s that i'm not that i'm seeing that don't even know where they are, what they are doing they are just following whatever life is giving them so you mean they they know what they are going to in this country <laughs> Anyway, I just feel people are not real. A lot of, especially ladies, ladies, we are our problem. Women are women's problem. Okay, because things did not go a certain way for you, because things did not go according to your plan. Maybe your own plan too was to marry in your 20s, it did not just happen that way for you. You now decide to, you know, shut every woman down, every other lady that got married early. You now begin to preach your story as the gospel like why i don't understand things do not work out for you it does not mean you should bring people down with you celebrate with people so that good things will happen to you okay so what makes you think that when you get to your late 30s you are going to have this achievement what make it what makes you think when you get to your 40s you are going to be rich like and then my wedding fell around that the Rita Dom mix wedding period. I was like, yes, this is like can't you see Rita Dom? Like the hell? how many how many ladies are like Rita Dom mix? I don't understand. How many ladies? How many ladies will be in their forties and still look like Rita Dom mix? Please, how many? How many? Let's just be real with ourselves, okay? And who told you Rita Dom mix would not have loved to marry early if she had met her husband when she was younger? I don't know. Who? So I just feel we just have to be real here in this space. Don't give people negative vibe. Keep your opinion to yourself. Somebody is telling you that doing something that is a good thing. No matter what time it is, celebrate with them so that good things will come your way. You are going to stay now in your late 30s or your early 40s and start praying to God for your husband. Now be a bitter woman. Like, please, ladies should just please reduce the stress we put on ourselves. We put a lot of stress on ourselves as ladies okay because ladies are the ones always fighting ladies and i don't understand where this is coming from like i i'm sure most ladies was always wanted to get married in their early 20s late 20s i mean but if it does not work out for you that way why be bitter why you know be negative why you know come for others why it's a celebrate with people be happy do you get so I just wanted to rant. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to just put this out there so that when they watch this video, they will know that they are the ones I am talking about. They know themselves, right? So they will know the ones I'm talking. And if you're part of this person, please change. It's not good, okay? If somebody should get a car very early in life, celebrate with them so that you get yours too, okay? If somebody should do achieve something, I mean, what is your own definition of achievement? It could be different from your neighbors. It could be different from your sister. Okay, every form of achievement is different. and the aspect of a husband making you change your life purpose or I don't know who you have been dating, sorry sis, but I feel any man you're going to settle down with should be a man that you guys communicate together. You guys have spoken about where you see yourself in you know in why people have the same mind, that you have the same purpose, your values correct, your values are I like and then with your values i like i believe and someone that can support you in whatever thing that you want to do you need a man that can support you so if you see that man early in life please please i beg you don't mind what social media is telling you settle down okay please settle down 
those good men are rare these days okay good ladies are rare so guys please leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think do you think if you had met your husband in your early 20s you would would you have gotten married i don't know and please leave uh please i want rational thinkers okay if you know you're not matured enough to answer this just skip please skip i don't have strength to come and start fighting on this you know media so please be realistic what do you think about these things do you think it is wrong getting married in your 20s do you think getting married in your 20s is not ideal um in fact how many ladies do you know are pretty in their 30s in their late 30s or early 40s how many ladies are pretty how many ladies are rich Okay, the so-called Rita Dominic they were using as an example. How many ladies be as rich as she is? How many ladies would be as, as pretty as she is in their forces? Anyways, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And another unpopular opinion that I hear is that people that are married in their twenties are bitter. They are not happy. They are sad. They are. I don't know what you guys think, but if you think fornicating around. Is the way is enjoyment. <laughs> it's that you are wrong because I don't say any other thing that singles would be doing that a married person cannot do. What goal do you want to chase as a single person that you can't chase when you're married? What flexing? What level of flexing? What level of enjoyment do you want to have? In fact, it's even sweeter when you have your own person, okay, that you can flex with. You can do anything. You, you can go to Dubai. People will not say you are going there to go and do rubbish. Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know what you guys are really talking about. Fornicating is not the way. Me, yeah, I am against it. But do you and let others do this. And for your information, people that are married in their 20s are not sad. Okay? I mean, some persons are. Some persons that are married in their 40s are. They are sad in their marriage. Some persons married in their 30s are sad. I mean, it is not just specific to people that are married early. Don't be a bitter person. Come on. Marriages have issues, but it is not specific to people that got married early. There are a lot of persons that got married early that enjoy their marriage. 40 years down the line, they are still together. It just depends on who you are and who you got married to. So guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please be, be rational, be matured, be honest with yourself. And please just, just be rational. Okay, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like this video and subscribe if you're just watching for the first time please subscribe if you watch this video to this point please like this video it will really help us go far and i'll see you in my next video bye please stay safe can we just just for a minute just one minute just be real to ourselves can we just be truthful to ourselves can we just say this truth like if it's not a big deal, why are you singing carry me they go behind our back? Why are you going to Shiloh every single year? And your first five prayer points is finding a good man. You're busy describing the kind of man you want to get married to. And then you're coming out later to say it's not a big deal. And you're carrying feminism on your head when you don't even know the true meaning of feminism. Like, please shut up if you don't have any other thing to say. If it's not an achievement to you, if it's not a good thing for you, keep your opinion to yourself. Don't call, go out and start telling other person, start, you know, discouraging them or making other person feel less because or they are missing up. They're not missing nothing. They're not missing shit. Okay? I mean...